Tesla CEO Elon Musk said Tuesday, American automaker and energy storage company Tesla will build an all-electric pickup soon after it begins building the Model Y SUV, which is expected to go into production in mid-2019. Musk said via Twitter, I promise that we will make a pickup truck right after Model Y have had the core design and engineering elements in my mind for almost five years. Am dying to build it. The Model Y, which will be built on the same platform as the Model 3 sedan, is expected to go into production in mid-2019. The idea of building electric pickup trucks was first announced last July. Adding a pickup truck to its lineup would make Tesla the first full-line electric automaker, making it better compete with traditional internal combustion engine brands like BMW and Toyota. Musk also said via Twitter that the pickup truck would likely be a little larger than the current best-selling model Ford F-150 pickup. He said the truck would have a gamut catching feature, but he didn't reveal details. In USA on sale put the world's only limousine Tesla. The model is based on the electric Tesla Model S 85 2015 with a run of just 240 kilometers from the unusual tuning Tesla performed in an American studio. The vehicle is seriously lengthened, its length greater than 6 meters. Equipment includes leather interior, climate control, power seats and a powerful audio system. The power of the motor is equal to 380 horsepower, and the power reserve is 407 kilometers. To purchase a Tesla Model S can be for $80,000, which is cheaper than the new Model 85. The reason is that limousine Tesla is ready for 90% and it needs to finish. However, for a fee the creators of cars ready to be completed for the new owner. We will remind, earlier there were photos of the first electric Tesla pickup truck. The Tesla pickup will be available after 2019. Now on the agenda, the establishment of production Tesla Model 3, and in 2019 it is planned to start production of Tesla not only semi but also a compact crossover Tesla Model Y. In addition, the founder of Tesla Elon Musk introduced the electric sports car Tesla Roadster, which can accelerate to 100 km per hour in less than 2 seconds. Tesla will make a pickup truck in the future. Chief Executive Elon Musk said on Tuesday, adding that he was dying to build it. Musk took to Twitter to ask his 17.1 million followers how the electric car and power company can improve further. While many talked about the various software upgrades, one Twitter user asked for an electric pickup truck. Musk said it is on the way and that he'd been thinking about the design elements for almost five years. Musk said this would happen after the Model Y, a crossover SUV that Musk has hinted at both on Twitter and on a Tesla conference call earlier this year. Musk said in May that the Model Y would be built using substantial carryover from the Model 3 in order to bring it to market faster. When asked if the pickup would be comparable in size to Ford's F-150 line of trucks, Musk said it would have a similar total size. He added that the Tesla truck may be slightly bigger, saying that he wants it to account for a really game-changing feature. For now, Tesla is focusing on ramping up production of its mass-market Model 3 car. The company posted a wider-than-expected loss in the third quarter of 2017 as it produced very few of the Model 3 cars. Tesla has had a number of problems with the production of the Model 3. Tesla's stock is up over 48% year-to-date. <music> Nissan has taken the wraps off another LEAF-based concept, the LEAF Grand Touring concept, which is scheduled to debut at the upcoming 2018 Tokyo Auto Salon. 
the Japanese manufacturers keen to churn out LEAF-based concepts, with the IMX concept SUV and the LEAF NISMO concept revealed earlier this year. The new concept features a dual-tone back and silver exterior finish, black alloy wheels and a typical V-motion grille found on current Nissan cars, though backlit in blue to symbolize the electric powertrain. Nissan hasn't revealed any information about the concept's interiors, and neither has the company disclosed powertrain details. For this bit of information, we shall have to wait for its official debut. The currently available, second gen Lee sold in international markets is powered by an electric motor that develops 150 horsepower at 3,283 to 9,795 RPMs and 320 newton meters of peak torque from 0 to 3,283 RPMs. The 40 kilowatt hours lithium ion battery pack, which provides a claimed range of 400 kilometers take 16 hours to charge to 100%, though that figure reduces by half with a 6 kW charger. Quick charging allows 80% of the battery to be charged in 40 minutes. The new LEAF has been on sale in Japan since October 2017, though the manufacturer has not yet confirmed when the EV will come to India. Nissan is also currently evaluating the Note e-Power for the Indian market, which has been spied testing in the country as well. The Note e-Power is expected to launch late in 2018. Subaru says the new 2019 Subaru Ascent 2.4L engine compares favorably to the competition's larger V6 engines. Here's the specs. The all-new 2019 Subaru Ascent 3-row family hauler is powered by an all-new 2.4-liter 4-cylinder boxer direct fuel injection turbocharged engine, and Subaru says it will offer drivability power and fuel economy equal to or better than that of six-cylinder engines. We don't have the EPA DOT estimated fuel economy numbers yet, but we can compare the Ascent's engine horsepower and torque numbers with the competition. Subaru's new Ascent will compete with Japanese rivals like the Toyota Highlander, Nissan Pathfinder, Honda Pilot, Mazda CX-9, and American entries like the Ford Explorer. Chevy Traverse, Dodge Durango and Jeep Grand Cherokee. Most come standard with a V6 engine, but Ford and Mazda also have four-cylinder turbo engines. Subaru says, despite its smaller displacement, the newly developed 2.4-liter turbocharged direct injection boxer engine will achieve smooth acceleration equal to or better than that of competing vehicles with 3.5-liter six-cylinder engines. That is accomplished with torque more than horsepower, because torque is what gets a vehicle moving from a stop and helps in pulling the vehicle up a hill, or when towing. Subaru will build the ascent on its new global platform and the new 2.4-liter twin-scroll turbocharged four-cylinder boxer engine sits under the hood producing 260 horsepower and 277 pounds FT of torque. The Ascent 2.4-liter twin-turbo four-cylinder is their new-generation boxer engine developed specifically for this vehicle that's built at Subaru's U.S. factory in Lafayette, Indiana. How Ascent 2.4L compares with the competition Compared to its Japanese rivals, Toyota Highlander is powered by a 3.5-liter V6 producing 295 horsepower and 263 pounds FT of torque. Nissan Pathfinder is powered by a 3.5-liter V6 direct injection gasoline DIG, engine producing 284 horsepower and 259 pounds FT of torque. Honda Pilot also gets a 3.5-liter V6 engine producing 280 horsepower and 262 pounds FT of torque. The Mazda CX-9 is powered by a 2.5-liter turbo engine producing 250 horsepower and 310 pounds FT of torque. Compared to its American competition, 
Ford Explorer is powered by a 3.5-liter V6 producing 290 horsepower and 255 pounds FT of torque. Explorer also gets a 2.3-liter turbo producing 280 horsepower and 310 pounds FT of torque. Chevy Traverse is powered by a 3.6-liter V6 producing 281 horsepower and 266 pounds FT of torque. Dodge Durango gets a 3.6-liter V6 producing 295 horsepower and 260 pounds FT of torque. Jeep Grand Cherokee also gets a 3.6-liter V6 with 295 horsepower and 260 pounds FT of torque. The Mazda CX-9's 2.5-liter turbo gets a massive 310 pounds FT of torque, and Explorer's 2.3-liter turbo also produces 310 pounds FT of torque outgunning the Ascent's 277 pounds FT, but both are turbocharged four-cylinder power plants. Subaru is correct when they say the all-new Ascent 3-row will achieve smooth acceleration because of torque, equal to or better than that of competing vehicles with 3.5-liter V6 engines. The new 2.4-liter twin-scroll turbocharged four-cylinder boxer engine has more torque than any of the competition's larger 3.5-liter or 3.6-liter V6 engines. The all-new 2019 Subaru Ascent will start in the low $30,000 price range and will be on sale in early summer 2018.